Spirit of God, for fresh on us, we need your presence, your kingdom come, your Oh Lord, you love us. How deep you love us. Oh God, we've come to encounter how deep you love us. Matthew 7 verses 7 it says keep on asking and you will receive what you ask for keep on seeking and you will find keep on knocking and the door will be open to you for everyone who asks receives everyone who seeks finds and to everyone who knocks the door will be opened Your parents, if your children ask for a loaf of bread, do you give them a stone instead? Or if they ask for a fish, do you give them a snake? Of course not. So if you sinful people know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly father give you good gifts to those that ask him? I'm going to read it in another translation. If you then, evil as you are, know how to give good and a advantageous gifts to your children how much more will your father who is in heaven perfect as he is give good and advantageous things to those he keep on asking him and I just really sense God's heart in the room for each and every person and as I was sitting down the Lord said I'm holy but I'm also a good father I'm holy, but I'm also a good father that two things can be true at the same time. That I am holy, but I am also a good father. And I really believe in this space that God desires to, as Alex was leading, to pour out afresh upon each and every one of us. To receive his good gift. To receive his good gifts and his good gift through the spirit the Holy Spirit that he has given unto us is peace, is love, is joy, it's strength, it's clarity, it's, 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 it's the overwhelming revelation of his heart towards you, it's his goodness. And so I'm just going to get a few minutes, for a few minutes, I'm just going to ask the musicians to play. 
And even now, I just want everyone in this room to just lift your hands up because I can feel God's heart. I can feel his love in the heart for every person. And this is not my usual posture, but I just feel it so strong of how much he loves each and every one of us. His love did not change yesterday. His love did not change when you decided to do your own thing. His love did not change last night when you rejected him and did your own thing. His love did not change if for many years you have just decided to shun him and question him. His love did not change. Even his love for you, the how people have treated you is not a reflection of of his heart towards you and I feel that so strong in the room I know life has been hard for you I know life has been tough but I just sense God saying I love you I adore you oh yes God and so even now just lift up your hands and just begin to say Lord I receive and this is not God just wants you to receive, I receive. Begin to just open up and ask him and begin to receive and say what you're receiving by faith. Lord, I receive your love. Is it his peace you're receiving right now? Is it a sound mind? Some of you came in here tormented in your mind, tormented, confused, unaware of what the future will hold. And I kept hearing God saying, oh, release, I'm releasing my children from the fear of the future. And I'm asking, and I'm asking, the fear of the future. Holy Spirit, your word says that where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And so God, right now, as you are pouring out and as your children are receiving right now, yeah, God, yeah, Holy Spirit, we receive, we receive for those that are feeling lonely. You've been feeling alone. You feel lonely. You feel isolated. There is fear of being alone for the rest of your life. That's not of the Father. Lord, we receive, we receive. Just begin to speak out what you're receiving in the room right now and I'm going to let the musicians play for a few moments. And even right there, just begin to still yourself. And receive. 